everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be solving the Lee code question three sum closest. All right. So this question is very similar to the three sum question itself. So I did make a video about it some time ago. So do check it out if you don't know how to solve the three sum question. But I'll still go over it really quickly over here. Okay. So over here we're going to be given an array of nums with n integers and an integer called target. Our goal is to find three integers and nums such that the sum is closest to target. Return the sum of the three integers, and you may assume that each input would have exactly one solution. Okay, so the way we actually solve this is we first sort our numbers, and the reason for that is because let's say we are just looking for two numbers, right? And let's say the sum of these two numbers, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one be the smallest number, in other words, the leftmost number, since it is going to be sorted in ascending order, and one, the rightmost number, or the largest number, uh, again, because it's ascending order. Okay, so what we're going to do is we find the sum, and if the sum is greater than our target, that means that we want smaller numbers. So what we do is we move the right pointer to the left by one, because when we move to the left, we get smaller numbers. And the same way if the sum is too small, we move the left pointer to the right by one, since we want larger numbers. But that's for two values. But over here, we're looking for three numbers. So how do we do that? So to do that, it's pretty simple. What we do is we fix one number and assume that that one number is going to be the first number, right? So let's say over here, we have this, we would sort it, and then we would just say whatever is at the zero index is going to be one of the numbers for sure. Then well, we have a new target, and this new target, so originally the target is one. And let's say the first number is negative one. So then our target is now going to be one minus minus one. And that's going to be two, right? So what that basically is doing is that it ensures that the current, the first number, which is negative one in this case, has been accounted for. Now, again, just remember that this is going to be sorted beforehand. Okay. Next, once we get the first number, we look for the two numbers that are equal to the new target. So in this case, that third space is going to be this over here. And we're going to do it the same way by using a left and a right pointer. And again, if you want more information about this, do check out the three sum video. But in this case, there's a small twist to the question, which is we might, we're not going to have something which is equal to the target. So the way we do this is we want some sort of value which is closest to the target, okay? And the way we actually get this is we're going to keep track of a variable called closest distance to target. And this is going to uh, keep track of whatever is the distance from the actual target. And so let's say we have a distance of zero, then in that case, that means we've reached the target itself, okay? And a quick example, so let's say the target is one in this case, and let's say we get a sum of two and a sum of four. So two would have a distance of one away, and uh, the value four would have a distance of two away. So using that knowledge, we're gonna find the actual value, okay? So let's see how this looks like in code, and I think it's a lot easier to understand that way. All right, so again, the first thing is to sort our nums, okay, so our numbers, okay, and now we're going to have another variable called distance, and this is going to be the distance from our target. And uh, to start off, we're going to just have a really large value, so we're just going to have positive infinity in the beginning. So now we, we're going to iterate in a uh, go in a while for loop, so for index in range length of nums minus 2. So first of all, this for loop over here is going to be the first number, right? So in the beginning, the first number is negative one, then two and so on, right? And in this case, we're only gonna go up to last but two value. And the reason for that, so in this case, it's the value two right over here. And then we would have the left pointer here and the right pointer here, right? Now let's say we go and this is our first number. We won't have any space for the left and the right pointer. So we're only gonna go up to last but two value. Okay, so we have this, and now we're looking for the next two values, okay? Now, so the way we do that is we have a left and a right pointer, and the left pointer is going to start off at index plus one, right? And the right pointer is just always going to start off at the last, or the last index, length of nums minus one. So now we need to define our new target. Now this new target takes into account the first number which we fixed, and this target is just going to be target minus the first number that we have, which is nothing else but the nums index. Okay, now we need to go in a while loop and we keep going as long as L is less than R. And what we're gonna do is we first need to find the sum of these two values, okay? So we'll just call it sum val. 
and it's going to be the sum of whatever is at the left pointer plus the sum of whatever is at the right pointer. So now that we have the sum, what we need to do is we need to check if the sum is equal to our target, okay? So if this over here, if sum underscore value is equal to our new target, right, then in that case, we're done. And in that case, we can just directly return our target since the sum is equal to the target itself, okay? So that's the first condition. But now, what if it's smaller than it, okay? So let's do that. So if sum underscore value is smaller than our new target, then in that case, that means the value is too small. So we're looking for larger numbers. And in that case, we're going to increase the left pointer to the right or move it to the right by one. But if this is not the case, then that means some val is greater than the new target. And in that case, we want smaller values. And we do that by decreasing the right pointer to the left by one. Okay. So this over here moves to the left and the right pointer. But now what we need to do is we need to update our distance over here. And the way we do that is we check for the distance. So we have if, and the condition here is we're checking if the absolute value of whatever distance we have is greater than the absolute value of the new distance. And the new distance is nothing else but the new target minus the current sum val that we have, okay? So this is over here, the new distance. So each time we just want the smallest distance. Now, why are we taking the absolute value? And the reason for that is because we don't care about direction. So if you think of a number line, right? Uh, and let's say the target is the number one. So zero is to the left of one, while the number two is to the right of one, right? We don't care about the direction, but zero is actually closer. So again, that means that we do not worry about the direction in this case. So that's where we're taking the absolute value itself. Okay, so now if this condition over here is true, then that means that we need to update our distance. And we're gonna update it with the new distance over here which is nothing else but this. So the new target minus the sum value. Okay, so this is that. And finally, outside of this for loop, so if we do get the same target, we return the target itself. And real quickly, why we're returning target and not new target is because if the uh, second and the third number are equal to new target, that automatically means that the three numbers together is equal to the target itself, okay? So that's why we return the target. Now, if we do not end up returning the target, that means we've got close to it, but we didn't reach the target itself. So how do we get this value now? So one thing we could do is we could keep track of that as well and keep updating it. Or in, since we only know how far away it is by distance, we can just use that distance to get the value. And in that case, it's just gonna be the target minus whatever distance we have. So this over here is our final answer. So let's submit this. And as you can see, our submission was accepted. So hopefully this video did help you out. And again, do check out the first uh, video of just threesome if this was a little bit more com uh, confusing for you. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching, guys.